before I left, she told me that make sure you do not have sex for three weeks. I'm like, I don't understand. What do you mean what happened? Why is that you didn't know where it's supposed to be? <gasps> it's not where it's supposed to be. I don't know what you mean by that. She's like, did I pull it? I was like, eh? Immediately my heart, like I could not breathe. I was like, Um, uh, hmm, that is how my IUD shifted. Hey, God of Israel. Please, it's not because of what you're thinking. That was not what caused it. I can explain. <laughs> God. I'm laughing, but it's not funny. <sighs> Hi, guys. You're welcome back. If you're new here, if you're a current subscriber, welcome back. Today, we're just going to just on a story time. It might sound funny, but it's not funny. I promise you. I'm just laughing because I laugh when I'm anxious or whatever or nervous. So for those of you that know, I had a baby last year. He's going to be born in May. Thank you, Jesus. And um, <laughs> I had an IUD procedure done in November, which I have to do on this channel. I'm going to link it in my description box. If you're not, if you go and watch. Hmm. Your baby girl wants to get an IUD. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I don't do things spontaneously, but that IOD thing was a spontaneous event. I just have to confess right now because I don't understand myself. <laughs> I'm sure you're waiting. How did it shift? But before I tell you how it shifted, people are so, people are like I'm a book of us so much. Before I tell you how it shifted, I will give you the background story of why this coconut head decided to get an IOD. So, like you all, my current subscribers will know, I had a very difficult pregnancy and I'm very, very vocal about it. I don't care what anybody says, it was difficult. So, after I had my baby, I remember one day, my doctors, I had my baby abroad by the way, so my doctors abroad were asking me that, do you think you do an IUD given the fact that you had a complicated pregnancy and you just want your body to heal, you understand, would you want to do that, or what means of family plan do you want? And I asked them, educate me, what are these family planning things? And they were like, oh, you have the pills, you have the hormonal shots, but hmm, just hormonal shots, and make you gain weight, the cup how you is the best, blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, no problem. They told me that. I was only supposed to get it over there. But the price, $600 for IUD. I said, I beg, I beg, go back to my country, Ghana. Anyways, when I go back to Ghana, I had my first appointment with my doctor in September, and we spoke about family planning as well. And she was like, don't worry, when you're ready, come for your family planning, let's do it, let's talk about it. I was like, okay, no while I brushed it over my husband, I told him about it. He wasn't really comfortable about it because I have PCOS, Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. In fact, having a child was a breakthrough from God. Thank you, Papa God. I don't take this for granted, but it was tough. So, having a child was such a breakthrough. And he was just like, I don't want you to get it because... What if you get it now and you can't have children later? But I was like, ah, no, I don't think that's how it works. So, but let's just be optimistic. Everything in life is a gamble, right? He's like, you want to gamble with health? I'm like, I'm not gambling my health. So fast forward, November. So I usually have this like two, two months review with my gynae. So before that review, I think I was supposed to have the review with her in, um, no, she told me to come in December, but in that November, I was feeling nauseous. Hey God, I was scared that day. I thought I was pregnant. Hey God of Israel, come and see the prayer. I was like, ah, I should have got to get this. I should have got to get it. But anyways, fast forward, when I now went late November, because I was like, I had to go earlier before my appointment date. Then she was like, okay, let's check if you're pregnant. Then we did the pregnancy test. So we did the pregnancy test. She was like, what are your options to do family planning? I was like, I don't know. She was like, I think you should get an ID today. I'm like, today? I was like, ah, before you know it, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I was. I saw myself on the bed. I was about to get an ID. That's why I said I've been spontaneous. I'm not a spontaneous person. Like, do you get? I am not. And my, mind you, I had discussed with my husband, but I had not told him that I was going to go and get an ID. I mean, while I was going to the clinic that day was for checkup and to see if I was pregnant. So I ended up getting an IUD. Who does that? I didn't even mentally prepare myself. And that thing was so, so painful. Now, ideally, when you get an IUD done, please tell them to check for a scan. Let them check the belly that it is where it's supposed to be. Because in my case, it's like it was not where it was supposed to be. And we didn't know. I know I'm joking about this thing, but it's a serious issue and I'm so scared right now. But I'm just sharing my experience, just to laugh about it. 
and just like whoo, breathe in and breathe out okay i'm good i'm good i'm calm i'm calm so back to that day we did the procedure and she was like oh let me check to see if it's where it is but she was like i have two clients for you so can you wait and at that time it was only my husband and son in the house and my husband had to be somewhere and my husband did not know i was getting an IED procedure done if not I would not have had to rush myself so i told her you know what doctor can i come back for the scan and she was like mm, okay it's fine i just wanted you to see the iud okay it wasn't necessarily checking if it was where it's supposed to be because she's a professional so it was where it was supposed to be but she's convinced i possibly shifted it but before i left she told me that make sure you do not have sex for three weeks yes sex make sure you don't do that thing do make sure you don't need to do for the next three weeks that that don't do it and I was like, okay, when I went home that day, I remember telling my husband I got an idea and he was like, he was sort of upset because he was like, but we didn't talk about it, we didn't decide. I'm like, it's my body, babe. And he's like, I know it's your body, but the piece was like, don't worry, I'll be fine. My guy has assured me she's a professional, so don't worry. Three weeks, I promise you, my husband did not touch me. My husband is very respectful when it comes to this kind of things. So she told us that after three weeks, she told me that after three weeks, sorry, that we should come back. I should come back to the hospital. I don't know why I said, keep saying we. I should come back to the hospital and let her do a scan just to see where it is. And that day, after three weeks, we went. I went myself, my baby. That was the first time she was with me to my baby. Like, ah, hi, baby, how are you? So, go fine. You know, I, like I said, I had my baby in Canada and I'm not taking him to my normal hospital when I came back, just myself. So, she said, okay, you get on the bed and she's looking with her, that thing called thing she's into for the ultrasound. And she's like, ah, what happened? I'm like, I don't understand. What do you mean, what happened? Why is that you didn't know where it's supposed to be? <gasps> It's not where it's supposed to be. I don't know what you mean by that. She's like, did I pull it? I was like, eh? Immediately my heart, like, I could not breathe. I was like, what you mean? Am I, is something wrong? Am I going to? She's like, no, 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 no. That, it's okay. Is it going to do the same job it's supposed to do? Is it going to prevent pregnancy? But it's just not where she would rather it. That's supposed to be a bit high up, but it's a bit low. I was not like, ah. You know, usually when they insert the IED, there's a little thread that dangles in, and there was not a long thread, so there's nothing that I pulled out. And I did not exchange, i uh, sorry, and I did not engage in extracurricular activities. I didn't go to war with my husband in the last three weeks that she, 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 she stated and advised. So I was like, how did that happen? And she's like, maybe when you were cleaning yourself down there or something, maybe the room. I'm like, I don't understand. Make it make sense. You know, but she was like, calm down, calm down, calm down. Remember, I got the procedure done in late November and I went back late December. She told me that, you know what, I should leave it in for two extra months. After Valentine's Day, I'm telling you exactly what she said. After Valentine's Day, I should come back, which is this year. I should come back and we should check, we'll check it. And if we check it out, she's still not comfortable with position. We'll remove it and put in a new one. I said, eh, you are who? Hey, <laughs> God. So anyways, after Valentine's Day, I got my period and I was like okay I went back to her she's like because you're on a period we can't do anything we can't check it right now so you have to go back and come back so ladies and gentlemen it's been after your period and I'm now on my period again and I have not gone back I'm just scared because I'm asking myself that number one I'm you know I'm, I'm, a, I'm an overthinker I don't know if you would know but I am no now no now no now I'm thinking what if something is wrong? What if the thing has gone somewhere? Ah. Number two, how am I going to bring that in out and bring it back? Put another new one. I've told myself that, see, once I bring it out, I'm not putting a new one. I don't care. God is my new contraceptive. I will try to understand my body. For what is what, guys, I promise you, since I got this idea done, my period has been regulated. I kill you know, since November. My period, when I put in my login details on flow, the period came when it was supposed to come in that November. It came when it was supposed to come in December, January, February. Now March it has come. You can even ask. I would have said ask somebody, but I'm sure she said this video. It has been reg it has regulated my period. It's only like I don't have PCOS again. Everything is coming. I'm overlating well. So I'm like, ah, this I this actually doing something good. But I don't like how it shifted. But she told me that she just come and check. If she feels that we don't have to take it out, then we won't take it out. This is already doing the job, but I just feel like I will take it out because 
I heard usually when you take it out, it takes like two months for your body to form back. Then you can start having your babies or whatsoever. That's why people feel like, oh, I've taken it out and I can't have babies. That's why people feel like when you have an idea, I take it out, you can't have children. And other people are like, ah, are you don't have a children? Why do you get an idea? But I just had to wait for my body to heal. Like, I just want my body to heal. Number two, I've mentioned in this channel before that having a child sort of put my career on hold. And I want to get a certain place before I actually start having like the other kids. Yes. And I'm proud to say this because people feel very ashamed to speak about these real life issues that women face. I mean, gone are the days that men were the only ones wanting to actually bring home the mula and make the cash or whatsoever. Now, women too want to do equally that. Not like we are fighting for equal rights, but I feel like as a woman, you are entitled to do a lot. And thank God for giving me a supportive husband because I don't know what I would do without my husband. I'm super supportive of my rendezvous. But any which way, I will do a video of my removal because I feel like when I do get removal, I am not inserting one back again. I am done just with IUD thing. But I have seen videos of how scary it is to get an IUD taken out. And I am so nervous about it. But I'll keep you guys posted as always. Who oh got this IUD series? Why? Okay. You guys share your experiences. I'm loving the experiences I'm getting from my previous video. If you've not seen that video, go and watch. Okay. I don't have anything to say again, so anyway, tweets. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace out. Please, before you get an ID, think twice. Can you endure the pain? Can you endure the trauma? The anxiety that comes with. Whatever. I'm just a drama queen, so. Anywho. Bye.